Nice, so I'm just cooking up a lot of fish and I completed the Hell's Kitchen achievement. So that's nice. That's for the crystal staff upgrade. Which is not a bad staff. If you didn't know, the staff actually has has infinite death runes. So if you're uh, cheap, you don't want... You know, I th I'm pretty sure you can auto cast agents as well, so it's a it's a nice staff for uh, you know welfare. That's fun, holy elixir from Corp. Doing a nice little Corp maps. I have no clue if I have a BSS or anything, but uh, you know. Hey, we well, got a spectral sigil. That's the worst one, but hey, man, I'll take it. I'll take any loot. Shoot, that's cool. Well, we just got a spirit shield, so yeah, that is every single thing we need to make a spectral spirit shield in our inventory. Nice, just got 99 fletching. There, in a recent update, you get more experience if you train in the wilderness, so uh, being a little risky here, but I figure no one's, no one's gonna find me, I should be fine. That's cool, just got a scythe. It's just cosmetic, but it is one of the cooler cosmetics you can get. So it is currently double experience. What I'm gonna do is activate a bonus XP scroll and turn in all of my logs to Barlock and get a ton of construction XP as you can see. I have a bunch more, so we'll see how many I get. All right, these are the last ones. Turn them in. Boom, we got to 86 construction and we got 22 mil cash from all those bones, nice. Hey, we just got Dragon Claws, that's pretty cool. I already had a pair, but hey, it's good components. I'll probably just end up keeping them, but uh, yeah, nice components if we do disassemble them. Okay, so I got smithing up, got prayer up. I don't know <laughs> how to make this. Uh, I think you have to use it on here, right? Up. Yeah, if, if you will do it. Yeah, spectral spirit shell. Now I gotta figure out how to make this thing good, just just for me. Man, ninety nine prayer, and I let's get the hell out of here because uh, at least one person knows exactly where I am. So let me uh, run. But uh, yeah, ninety nine prayer. Woo. All right. So in the recent update, the smelter's pickaxe was uh, changed a little bit. Should be easier to make. Let's go ahead and make one. Except for we don't have enough components. Okay. Now I think we can make it. Yay, Smelter's Pickaxe. Also received a upgrade. Looks better than it used to. Actually looks more noticeable as a unique pickaxe. So, awesome. Okay, so I figure I might as well show you what this thing does. So, for starters, you're going to need a coal bag. It works with the coal bag. As a pickaxe, it's just slightly better than a rune pickaxe. So, it is an upgrade if you don't have dragon, which I'm guessing you probably wouldn't. But uh, the main reason you want it is for its ability to store coal. So let's take off the pickaxe, for example, and let's check how many we can hold. Bag is empty. Now if we go to our bank and withdraw coal, it should put 27 pieces of coal. I think it says it in your chat. Yeah. So, But now if we equip Z pickaxe, and I might not have enough coal to do this, but we'll just see what happens. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. It can hold to up to 500 extra if you are holding the pickaxe. So you get 527 pieces of coal. Uh, well, you can't. So then uh, if you go smelting, let's just grab a, bar, a chunk of... Oh, wait, do I have the smithy couple for that? Like, okay, I do. Good. And then if you have it set up something like this. And then... Boom, so there you go. Basically, it is a must-have item if you plan to do a lot of smelting slash smithing. Yay, 99 smithing. I do, unfortunately, have to go back to mining, but I wanted to get the pickaxe because, like I said, it is an upgrade. Nice, we got 99 mining. Nice, we just got these commodic right half. Now we gotta go get the left half. Hey, and there we go. There is 50 laps of Priftus Agility Course. Got ourselves the Elven Hosta upgrade. The reason we needed this is so we can go kill experiment number twos because the Elven Hosta upgrade, the upgrade of one, the Titan Hosta, actually counts as a Leaf Blade weapon. I'm sure you already knew that, but if not, a Leaf Blade weapon, yeah. Oh, I don't know why I, I didn't show me opening the mystery box. Minify Purple Hat. Oh, nice. We just got these schematic left halves. We actually have everything we need except... I think we're missing four dark stones. We're missing dark energy as well, but dark energy isn't as hard to get. The dark stones, unfortunately, those are a little bit rare, and the main way to get them is from here. So I'll just stay here for a little bit longer and uh, hopefully get some more dark stone. I think we need four more. Well, really, we need a lot because there's multiple dark weapons. And we got a duplicate. 
Duplicates aren't bad though because you can turn them in for a little bit of cash. Nice, we just got our last dark stone. Dark stone number five. So we have everything we need to make the uh, the juggernaut. I believe we actually need more dark energy, but there's a way to get more and I'll show you how to do that. It turns out I had a dark stone in my bank, so I didn't need I didn't need that extra one I could have left earlier. Rip. Oh what the fuck? We just got an actual useful pet from the pet mystery crate. We might be the first person in game that even has the lava dragon pet. Holy crap. This pet actually can teleport you anywhere uh, in the game if you're level 55 wilderness. So on a hardcore Iron Man, having that pet actually makes wilderness content kind of doable, man. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Just got a scythe. It's just cosmetic, but it is one of the cooler cosmetics you can get. All right, we're going to be a little risky today. We got our lava dragon pet. We are going to go to the wilderness because I need some blood money to buy the Sliske's chest upgrade. So right now I'm going to get the cannon. Finally have that unlocked after, you know, uh, that, that's not how many individual points I have now. Yeah, there we go. There's the updated amount. Uh, let's get this thing exchanged. And yeah, we're going to go safe spot Callisto and I will show you how to do that. So in order to get there, go to the demonic ruins and then head south. You're going to go to... Right about here, so. And hopefully we do. I should have. <laughs> if you didn't know, <laughs> there is also a setting you can do. Settings. Go to targeting. And you can turn off uh, the ability to get targets. If you didn't know that. But you can only do that in the wilderness. Or outside of the wilderness. So, at least for now, uh, somebody can attack me. So, you can see I already have my little uh, thingies play here. So, it's Prime Mage because this thing can smack you. It was nerfed in a recent update, but I'm still expecting it to smack people. Uh, I think that should be fine. If not, I'll have to move it lower. So do that. And then you want to come over here. And I believe you did have to be in long range. Actually, I'm not sure if long range mattered. And then go to the yellow spot. And then it should... There you go, right there. Boom. You were locked into the safe spot. So, uh, sometimes if he walks this way around the cannon, he can get to you. So then all you have to do is go here and then use both of these spots to kind of like, uh, get him in this position is, is what your goal is. But yeah, I'm just going to farm up some blood money and then try to get the Sliske's chest upgrade schematic. Alright, I decided to check out Revs, if, see if they're faster blood money. Um, they might be, but it's hard to tell because I still have not gotten a bracelet drop. But, uh, we have enough ether to charge our... Uh, Vigora's chain mace. If you didn't know, you actually need a thousand to to get it charged, and then the extra amount is how many you actually get in the charges. So, uh, yeah, we have to get this bracelet so we're not taking too much damage, and uh, hopefully this will be better. Nice, we finally got the bracelet. That took way longer than I expected. All right, so I did a nice chunk of revs, and I believe we have enough. I don't. Uh, yeah, okay, a few. For a second there, I thought it was five thousand, and I thought I was gonna have to do more revs. Luckily, no one attacked me once. I, uh, I, the only one who really PKs is Sibo, and he's he's been off me for a while. Uh, there was Ligma for a while. <laughs> Ligma, shout outs to you if you're, if you're watching this. Oh, and I totally forgot to record, but I got a Vesta Chain Buddy. So, yeah. Nice, just got 99 Invention. All right, we got 26 group blue chests. Let's see what we can do. Or upgraded ones, I should specify. Oh, nice. Christmas Cracker. John's Battle Axe. Cool. We can upgrade that immediately. Let's uh, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get. Third Age Cut Shield. Cool. Dragon Lump. Ranger Boots. Huh. It's fun. Prototype Cloak. Nice. We can make Shadow Silk if we want. I'd like to make Juggernaut, but it looks like we're going to make John's Battle Axe. Which I'm definitely not, uh, I'm definitely not sad about that. Nice. All right, let's, uh, all right, Cracker, wow, cool. I kind of, um, kind of just want this on JMO. I don't even want it on this account, but it's cool. If I die, that's exactly where this account is, or where that party hit is going. Uh, who wants to be, who's Iron Nerd? I like the fact that nerd's in your name. So you are the guy that I'm going to use it on. Ba -ba. Oh, cool, white. White is probably my second favorite. My favorite is being purple, but I'm definitely happy with that. Bald head. Ah, nice. Cool. Okay, I think we have everything we need. Ghost Hunter Battle Axe. Oh, oh, Dark Deponents. Durr. All right, so after thinking about it, the main goal for this account and for this series is God Wars 2. 
God of War 2 is not out yet, but I'm actually making a lot more progress on it now. And now that I have all of the ideas finalized, there is no boss that is undead. All of the six gods are alive, or the representatives, I suppose is the better word, but they're all alive, so there's no real reason to make the Ghost Hunter Battle Axe, so I've decided to make the Shadow Silk uh, Cloak instead. We still gotta get the rest of the dark components though, and if you're wondering how I'm doing that, if you come to Twiggio Corn, you can purchase dark lights. These give you dark components. If you have a high donator, I think it's the ruby donator status, you can buy black lotus uh, from ruby shop, which is better, but if you don't have that, then dark light is your best option. All right, we finally have one mil dark components. Let's make the shadow silk cloak noise, 4.5 mil XP. Already 99, doesn't matter, but boom, that is a nice upgrade. Let me show you the stats over the Fury. So, Fire Cape 86, this 87, only one better on the strength bonus, but if we look at the stab, 93 to 79. So, the offensive abilities, specifically with stab, this thing is supposed to be used in conjunction with Juggernaut and Rapier. Uh, obviously, we don't have either of those, but uh, what I want to do now is go kill some uh, of the new Slayer Monster, Undead Necromancer.